So in this video, we're gonna look deep into the main melody of As It Is by the Pat Metheny Group. We are gonna see what makes this melody so special. In my video on Bright Size Life, I showed the typical Metheny harmonic descent from one to the minor six, from D to B flat. As it is, start with the same descending progression from D to B flat, but there's one major difference in the harmonic rhythm. So I have the bass line and the chords of the main melody right here. We see five bars, one, two, three, four, five, and we see that the length of the bars is changing. We got six beats here, then five here, four, again five and four. Right here, I have a simplified version of four bars with four beats per bar. Now, the reason for making this simplified version is that it helps us to see what exactly is unique about the melody, about the main melody of As It Is, and I'm not saying by any means that it's not possible to inject really good music into that regular structure of four bars. Now pay attention to this D that goes to B flat. Both are placed on the strong parts of the bar. The one, two, one, and two. The C right here creates a sense of continuous motion between the D here and the B flat here. Over here, the passing tone is becoming longer. It becomes the most noticeable note in this descending motion. It should be just a passing tone, but instead it becomes an important tone. And this shows you that you can achieve innovation in harmony, not just by using other chords, but also by playing with the timing of chords. So I was trying to figure out what this was. This. So I tried simplifying it to something more familiar. So I, I start from the same B minor. Instead of the F sharp minor, I just go to F sharp minor over A. And instead of the C sharp minor seven, I go to its relative major and play it over the third G sharp. Instead of This is the original, the bass is going from B to F sharp to C sharp. So what I did is to change the F sharp minor to F sharp minor over A to have this stepwise motion. And then instead of the C minor seven, I change it to 
E, the relative major, over G flat. Now we have this stepwise motion that goes to A. One more thing we can see is the addition of this bar, because right here in both versions we arrive at A, which is the dominant of the tonic D. Right here in the simplified version, I'm getting to D here. In the original, we have an extra going to the lower neighbor G from A to G, then back to A and then to D. So while this may be the, you know, the logical thing to do, right here we have this personal addition by the composer, but the great thing about it is that it sounds great. It sounds natural. And that's also because of the melody. <laughs> <laughs> 